Port Orchard, a warm and vibrant community, situated where the waters of Sinclair Inlet caress the Kitsap Peninsula. Recreation, Northwest hospitality, and living maritime traditions continue to draw visitors to Port Orchard across the waters. Since the last ice age, native tribes like the Squamish, Duwamish, and Sklalem prospered in the region. The first Europeans to visit this unique corner of Puget Sound were famed British explorer Captain George Vancouver and his shipmates in 1792. In 1886, inventor Sidney Stevens purchased 88 acres for $900 in hopes of building a town. By 1890, the community was incorporated and named Sydney in his honor. Sydney was renamed Port Orchard in 1892 in honor of Harry Masterson Orchard, the navigator for the Vancouver Expedition. And in the same year, Port Orchard became the county seat. The Port Orchard Navy Yard, later to be called the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard, was established across the bay in Bremerton in 1894. Roads were non-existent in Port Orchard's earliest days, and the rowboat was considered cutting-edge transportation until the debut of the steamboat in the 1850s. Soon, hundreds of privately owned steamers began plying the watery thoroughfares and connecting Port Orchard with Greater Puget Sound. These numerous little vessels, eventually replaced by the Washington State Ferry System, were affectionately known as the Mosquito Fleet, the oldest working remnant of the once proud flotilla, the Carlisle II, is beautifully restored and provides regular passenger service between Port Orchard and Bremerton. Visitors bask in the friendly, small town atmosphere that is Port Orchard. But as you're about to discover, the adventure starts before you even step foot in Port Orchard. Whether you come by ferry, over bridges, or by boat, the adventure begins with the journey. Well, we took a um, nice scenic drive into Port Orchard, came across the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Beautiful, beautiful day. Um, we're just going to spend a couple days here in the Port Orchard area and check out the scenes. And then we're going to head north, go across the Hood Canal Bridge, and check out the Olympic Peninsula. Really looking forward to it. When we started our journey across the, the Sound there in Seattle, um, taking the big green and white boat uh, through the passages and past the islands and the sea lions and the seagulls uh, to arrive in Bremerton at the Navy Yard. And then we took the little passenger ferry across the harbor here and here we are. Well, in, in our case, we go through the locks, which takes some time, and then we come here. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful journey. Uh, it's, uh, you go through Agate, Pass, I guess it is they call it there. A little current, a little, you know, it's just it's fun, it's a little exciting. But boats come from Vancouver, they come from uh, the uh, San Juan Islands, uh, they come from all over. So it's, uh, it's a nice, exciting, little fun cruise. Sit. If you want a good ride, you want a beautiful place, a beautiful destination, come to Port Orchard. Go love it. Come and girls ride love the it. Uh, tell me about your trip to Port Orchard. Oh, it was great. It was the first time in Seattle, and it was just a great way to, to see the sides. We had an amazing trip to Port Orchard by seaplane, and the scenery was just unbelievable. Yep, 
we're looking forward to just spending the afternoon here in Port Orchard and enjoying the sights. It should be a lot of fun. Your adventure has brought you by ferry, bridge, or boat to Port Orchard and South Kitsap. So what exactly does the community have to offer once you are here? How about water? Nature? And outdoor recreation? South Kitsap has it in abundance with miles of picturesque shoreline or golf at some of the highly rated and challenging golf courses on the Kitsap Peninsula. Golf is necessary for life. It enriches the soul. It uh, helps you uh, reconnect with the, uh, with the earth. It's a good thing for you. In Port Orchard, you'll enjoy the intimate small town atmosphere. Downtown is easily explored on foot. The local shops and waterfront are full of special surprises. Antiques, collectibles, Art and Life Theater. Downtown residential areas boast fine craftsmen and Victorian homes to stroll past. Close by is Uptown Port Orchard, where the bigger stores and shopping centers cater to your every need. For added fun, visit Port Orchard landmarks that were the inspiration for the Cedar Cove books by best-selling author Debbie Maycumber. I'm raised, raised the pigs myself. No pigs wow. hurt in this Thank movie. <laughs> Along Port Orchard's waterfront, walkways, and roadways, enticing sights, sounds, and aromas beckon you to dine, sample, sip, and relax. At the end of the day, stretch out in comfort at one of the outstanding local inns or bed and breakfasts. set up camp at magnificent Manchester State Park along the shores of Puget Sound. The Sydney Gallery and Museum uh, is a great place to visit to see local art. The museum upstairs is very, very interesting. The Log Cabin Museum was uh, built in 1914. Uh, the gentleman that built it was a Civil War veteran. It's a family-oriented dog park. Bring your dogs and just let them run, play, interact with other dogs, and they have trails that you can take your dog along on the walk. With each season of the year, Port Orchard has a great variety of unique festivals and fun events that bring together locals and visitors alike. If your plans include wider adventures, Port Orchard is the jumping off point for nearby Olympic National Park, Hood Canal, the Naval Museum, casinos, wineries, and even Mount Rainier. Whether you travel via scenic highways and bridges, cross the waters by ferry, or cruise into port by pleasure boat, come and enjoy the warm welcome that awaits you at Port Orchard, where the adventure begins with the journey.